Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel for a new game that I wanted to try. And by new, I mean I've had it for a while because it was made available over the summer. It was announced at E3 and came shortly, available shortly thereafter. And uh, that is Catan for the Nintendo Switch. Now, the gameplay isn't really that much different from Settlers of Catan, the board game as many of you who probably clicked on this video are familiar with. But let's go ahead and jump into the single player campaign and play through a mission today and see how that goes. All right, here we are with our competitors, Marianne and Hildegard. And it looks like I get to go second. So first things first, let's go ahead and set up shop here on this ore and wheat field. You'll have to press and hold that button in order to place what you want. And let's place our road here so we can build out towards a port. Now we just need some decent wood and brick. And I feel like the best place for us to do that is going to be here. Yeah, let's go ahead and place our settlement here. That actually puts us decently close to the two for one on ore as well. So let's just go ahead and start building out that way. Right off the bat, we're getting a little bit of ore here from that roll. Hold the triggers here and roll a seven. So that's fun, but nothing happens this early on. And I guess I'll be nice to the NPCs by sticking it over here. Now let's go ahead and build a structure here. And let's build out towards these ports. Hildegard rolls a nine. That's nice for us. We get some more brick. And I don't want to trade off my brick. Sorry. Got some more ore pulling in here. And I'm not interested in trading my brick. Sorry. See, we get a nine, so we've got another brick pulling out here. Uh, I'd like to have a five or a ten, but uh, that's going to be about all I want to do here. Snake eyes on that too. That gives me some wheat. And a ten gives us some wood. That allows us to build our next road here. Um, I suppose we can do that trade there, getting some more ore for some wheat. And an 11 gives us more. Oh, wait, that's not me. Never mind then. So let's go ahead and build a road. And that's going to be all I can do because I'm one wheat short of upgrading to a city. Seven, the robber moves. I'm probably going to get robbed because they want my brick. Oh no. And more ore, which is problematic. Sheep for an ore. I can do that trade, because if we get a come into some more wood here, we'll be able to build some settlements. All right, let's go ahead and place it on both of these two. And we get more ore back from that. I think I'm going to perform a 
trade here. With the bank. Just because I've got a surplus of ore here. And that will allow me to build another road. And the next edifice that we build will be a city or a settlement over there on the three for one exchange with the sheep and the wood. I'm not looking to trade away anything just yet though. Uh, the fours are only good for her at this point, so that's no fun. Let's get a five or a 10 in here, that's a seven. And let's go ahead and target both these players up here again. And let's go ahead and steal from Hildegard this time. We get some wheat, not exactly what I was looking for. We're waiting on some wood, that's a five. That'll give me some wood there and some wheat. And I suppose I can do that. And some more wood there. That's nice. Uh, no, nah, I don't need that trade, Marianne. Get a roll here for an 11. That's nothing good for me. But let's go ahead and build our settlement here on this three for one. And that'll allow us to start cashing in on some of these sheep as well. Though I don't know that we've had an eight rolled yet this game, but we have now. And get some more wood and wheat here. I could use some brick. I'll go ahead and do that trade. And a nine, that gets me more brick, which actually should allow me to build not only a road this, this turn, but I can turn around and build a settlement immediately thereafter. Now we've got a two for one on our ore and a three for one on everything else. Six, that's gonna give us some ore. And I'm not looking to get rid of that. No, sorry, no, sorry. Looks like Hildegard's gonna have to discard some cards here. And I was not targeted there, which is quite surprising. Got an eight rolling in, that gives us some sheep. But only two of them and I can't do anything with my cards this turn. Four, I don't think I get anything on those, nope. Uh, no, I'm not looking to get rid of that ore. In fact, I'd like to get some more of it and that'll do it. I just need to start getting some wheat and a little bit more ore. That gets me more ore. Let's see if we can offer a trade here. And nobody wants to do that, so. Oh well, we'll go ahead and pass along. Ten, that gives us some nice wood there. And I'm not looking to get rid of my ore, so please stop asking. An eight, that gives me some sheep. We can actually go ahead and trade some sheep for some... Uh, for some grain or some wheat I'm not looking to part with my ore 
Give me a five. There's a five. So let's go ahead and do a trade. And for this trade, we're going to go ahead and do it with the bank. So we'll trade three sheep for a wheat. And then we'll go ahead and build a city. And I want to build the city on my burr over here, since I've got the two for one over there on the coat. And I don't want to do anything else at this time. Eight, that gives me some sheep to work with. And on this roll we get a nine. That gives me some brick. Someone's going to ask me for it. Nope, they didn't. Okay. Give me another nine or a two. That'll give me two wheat. So let's go ahead and build a road. And that'll do it for what I want there. Ten. I get a lot of wood on this turn. And a three. I don't think I pick up anything on that. Nope. I'm not looking to lose that wheat. Sorry. Worked hard for it. Don't want to give it up that easy. Six. That gives us some ore. Which is nice because now we can go ahead and do a bank trade because I've got an excess of wood. And we'll go ahead and get our third ore. And let's go ahead and build our city. There's no good building it over here. And I think I like the odds better on this coastal town. And now we're going to start focusing on building some roads to connect the longest road here. 10, that gives us a lot of wood. Four woods on a 10. And an 8, that gives us some more sheep. Uh, don't need brick that much for the sheep because I can trade for basically anything that I need. Seven. That's going to bite just a bit. So I've got to get rid of four of them. Let's go ahead and get rid of three of these and one of those. can't put it on that 10 because that's where it's at right now. Best place to hurt both of them is going to be up here on this 3 if I can select it. And let's go ahead and steal from... Let's... Let's go after Hildegard. Got some ore. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some more of my wood here get some brick and an 8 gets us more sheep which we can trade off in a minute I know I'm not getting rid of my ore and I've got a plenty of sheep Seven. I'm fine this time around because I'm under the resource cap. They're playing very passive and I'm still not getting rid of my ore, so please stop asking. Ten. That gives us a lot of wood to work with. So let's go ahead and do a bank trade real quick where we get rid of three sheep for 
a brick. And that'll allow us to build two roads pretty quick. Let's build another one here. That gives us the Loris Road token, which gives us some more victory points. But that's all I can do for now. And a seven, it's good, and I spent a bunch of resources. And of course they want my cards, and of course they get the ore. And why would I take that ore back when you just stole from me? Four, I'm still not picking up anything on those. And she cut my longest road possibility there by building a settlement on it, but I'm still picking up resources, so. Guess that plan didn't really work out in your favor, did it? Six, that gives me some more ore. I suppose I'll accept that deal. Oh. Of course, they pick up more sheep on that three. I'm not getting rid of wheat. And I can't pick up anything on that ten, which is really frustrating. Well, let's see if we can get... Let's see if we can get a trade here. I'll offer up some... Nobody wants to take my deal. Oh well. Eleven. I don't pick up on those either. I don't want sheep. Nine. I'm not getting... Oh, I do get brick there. Which is nice, because that will now allow me to... No. No, I'm not getting rid of my brick. Five, that gives us some more wheat to work with and some wood. That's nice. So let's go ahead and build a settlement here. And we don't quite have enough to just turn around and buy more. Let's see if we can maybe get a sheep for wood here. Nope. I think they've just reached the point where they refuse to trade with me. Three. Still not getting anything on those. Oh, now you'll give me a sheep for a wood. No. I don't want your brick either. And I still don't want sheep. Six, that gives us more ore. And as long as we don't roll a nine on our next turn, or a seven on our next turn, which we didn't. Nobody picks up on the 12 on the board. So let's go ahead and build ourselves a city. Now, this is the best place to locate that, but it didn't really matter because that wins us the game. Well, that was uh, pretty fun. Hildegard and Marianne have nothing on me. So next week, if uh, we do another one of these, we'll go ahead and take the next level. But until then, thanks again for watching, and I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day.